Did you know that without the aid of modern tools, an ancient civilization once read the skies as proficiently as we read books today? Dive deep with us into the enigmatic world of the Inca Empire, an empire which not only dominated South America's landscapes, but also the vast cosmic tapestry overhead. In this journey, we'll unravel the mysteries of the Inca culture, their intricate language, and the societal nuances that made them a civilization ahead of their time. From the origins rooted in myths to their profound historical significance, let's embark on a celestial adventure, uncovering the legacy of the world's most fascinating stargazers. So are you ready to gaze at the stars through Inca eyes? Imagine standing atop the Andean Mountains, where the air is crisp and the vast expanse of the night sky stretches endlessly above. Here, without the glare of city lights or the noise of modern life, the Incas stood centuries ago, connecting with the cosmos in ways that might seem almost magical to us today. No high-tech telescopes, no digital charts, just the human eye, a deep reverence for the skies, and some ingeniously simple tools. The Incas used Usnu, special platforms often perched high on hills or in open spaces. From these spots, they had a front row seat to the celestial dance of stars and planets. With meticulous patience, they charted the skies, marking out patterns and cycles that even today astound us with their accuracy. Now let's talk constellations. While many of us might look for Orion's belt or try to trace the Big Dipper on a clear night, the Incas had a different take. Instead of just the bright patterns formed by stars, they also focused on the dark patches amidst the shimmering Milky Way. These unique dark cloud constellations, like the Yakata, or the Llama, and the Hampatu, or the Toad, had rich tales woven around them, adding layers of cultural depth to their stargazing. The Impact of Astronomy on Inca Beliefs and Society Imagine waking up every day, where your life's rhythm doesn't just echo the ticking of a clock, but is deeply intertwined with the tales of the stars above. The Incos didn't have to imagine. This was their reality. The vast skies weren't just pretty sprinklings of stardust for them. These celestial bodies were storytellers, each one narrating tales of gods, seasons, and omens. For the Incas, Inti, the sun, wasn't just a bright star. He was a god, a beacon of life, and their direct link to divinity. Every dawn, as the first sunbeams kissed the Andean peaks, it wasn't merely a new day. It was Inti's blessing. Now, the skies were more than spiritual beacons. They were practical guides. Picture this. Vast stretches of terraced fields, the backbone of Inca agriculture. But when do you sow? When do you reap? The Incas turned their gaze upwards. The Pleiades. A cluster of stars held answers. When these stars made their first appearance, it was a celestial alarm clock announcing the harvest season. It's like the stars whispered secrets, ensuring the Incas made the most of their land. But let's dive deeper. Think about the leaders and decision makers of today. Now transport that setting back in time to the heart of the Inca Empire. Here, political decisions had a cosmic consultant, the night sky. Suppose a comet streaked across the night, or there was an unanticipated lunar eclipse. These weren't merely beautiful spectacles, but divine messages. They could postpone wars, shape ceremonies, or even influence who'd be the next ruler. It was celestial diplomacy at its finest. In the grand tapestry of Inca life, every thread was dyed in the hues of the cosmos. Their days, their beliefs, and even their futures were inextricably linked with the stories etched in the skies connection between astronomy and Inca education. Now imagine an educational system where instead of classrooms being confined within four walls, the expansive night sky is your classroom. This was the life for young Incans, where the very foundation of their learning was rooted in the rhythm of celestial bodies. The Incas didn't just stumble upon their profound knowledge of the heavens. It was a systematic approach, a curriculum, if you will. Becoming an Inca astronomer was akin to acquiring a doctorate today. It wasn't a path taken lightly. Future astronomers would embark on rigorous training sessions where they learned to track the movement of stars, understood the phases of the moon, and demystify the shadowy patterns of the Milky Way. The Incas recognized the importance of starting this education early. In the heartland of their empire, schools known as Yakyaswazi, or Houses of Knowledge, took budding astronomers under their wing. 
Here, nestled amidst the towering Andes, these young minds would drink from the fountain of ancient astronomical wisdom. They would learn to predict seasonal changes based on the heavens, which was crucial in an agrarian society. Their knowledge determined when to sow seeds and when to harvest, literally making them the guardians of life's rhythm. But what's even more captivating is how intertwined astronomy was in their standard curriculum. Imagine, alongside learning arithmetic and language, every Inca child, regardless of whether they'd become astronomers, was taught the basic tenets of the stars, planets, and cosmic events. This wasn't just an elite profession, it was part of their very identity. The reason? The Incas believed that understanding the heavens was synonymous with understanding life itself. To them, the celestial ballet wasn't just a spectacle, it was a direct communication from the divine, a message every Inca needed to comprehend. To put it in perspective, think about how we today emphasize the importance of digital literacy, given our world's tech-driven nature. For the Incas, celestial literacy held a similar, if not greater, significance. Their very survival, rituals, and decision-making revolved around the cosmic calendar. So the next time you gaze at the night sky, remember that for the Incas, those shimmering dots weren't just distant lights. They were chapters in textbooks, stories of gods and heroes, and most importantly, they were the clockwork that orchestrated their existence. The Incas may not have had digital screens or online classes, but their open-air planetarium was as grand, if not grander, than any modern lecture hall. And their curriculum? A harmonious blend of science, faith, and the sheer poetry of the cosmos. Influence of Astronomy on Inca Architecture and Urban Planning The Incas, with their keen eyes trained on the heavens, didn't just stop at observing the skies. They meticulously wove their astronomical observations into the very fabric of their cities, fusing cosmic understanding with terrestrial architecture. Have you ever imagined a city layout inspired by constellations? The Incas did just that. Cusco, the beating heart of the Inca Empire, was designed in the likeness of a puma, a constellation revered by the Incas. But this wasn't just symbolic, the city's orientation and the placement of its buildings were meticulously planned to align with key celestial events. Now consider Machu Picchu, the iconic lost city of the Incas. Nestled among the cloud-kissed peaks of the Andes, this masterpiece isn't just an architectural marvel, but also an astronomical observatory. Dominating this ancient cityscape is the Intihuatana Stone, often referred to as the hitching post of the sun and rightfully so. On specific days, especially during solstices, the stone aligns perfectly with celestial bodies, casting no shadow at all. It's believed that the Incas used this stone to predict solstices, which were pivotal events in their agricultural and ceremonial calendar. And it doesn't end there. Many Inca structures, including temples and ritual spaces, are astronomically aligned. The Temple of the Sun in Cusco is a testament to this cosmic alignment. During solstices, the sun's rays illuminate specific niches in the temple, marking the zenith of celestial events and the beginning of vital agricultural cycles. Such precision in the design wasn't merely for aesthetic purposes. It showcased the Inca's profound respect for the celestial world and its synchronicity with the earthly realm. Though heavens weren't just distant realms for the Incas, they were partners guiding the layout of their cities the design of their temples, and the rhythms of their daily lives. Indeed, the Inca Empire wasn't just grounded on Earth. It was an empire reaching for the stars, blending astronomy with architecture in ways that continue to captivate and mystify us today. So the next time you admire an Inca structure, remember you're not just looking at stones and terraces, you're witnessing a dance between the Earth and the stars, choreographed by the ancient Inca astronomers. The Decline and End of the Inca Civilization Ah, the Inca Empire, a realm that once stood as a beacon of grandeur and sophistication, stretching its dominion across the rugged terrains of South America. But like all empires, it too had its sunset. The causes? A complex web of historical events that would forever alter the course of this civilization. It started with internal strife. The empire was embroiled in a civil war between two royal brothers, Atahualpa and Huscar, each vying for the coveted throne of the Sapa Inca. As they battled, an external force loomed on the horizon, Spanish conquistadors led by Francisco Pizarro. 
armed with advanced weaponry and harboring insatiable desires for gold, they saw the divided Inca Empire as a ripe fruit ready to be plucked. The Spanish were not just armed with steel and gunpowder, they brought with them invisible weapons, diseases like smallpox, to which the Incas had no immunity. This combination of disease, superior weaponry, betrayal, and strategic alliances spelled the rapid downfall of this colossal empire. Legacy of the Inca Astronomers in Modern Times But let's not let the eclipse of the Inca Empire overshadow the luminescence of its legacy, especially in astronomy. The echoes of the Inca Astronomers still resonate in modern times. Their understanding of the cosmos, without any of today's advanced equipment, is a testament to human ingenuity and curiosity. Contemporary astronomers and archaeoastronomers frequently turn to Inca practices for insights. The Dark Cloud Constellations concept is unique to the Incas? It's an innovative way of perceiving the night sky, focusing on the dark, empty patches amidst the starry expanse. Modern observatories in South America often pay homage to Inca observatories, recognizing the value of their ancient knowledge. Additionally, as travelers explore iconic sites like Machu Picchu, they're often struck by the architectural genius reflecting celestial alignments. These monuments aren't just stones, they're pages of cosmic diary meticulously maintained by a civilization that looked to the stars for answers. Understanding the Inca People Let's take a step back and look at the big picture. The Incas were a large group of people who lived long ago in South America. They built a big empire that spread across many countries we know today, like Peru, Bolivia, and Chile. The head of their group was called the Sapa Inca, and people believed he was related to the sun god. They had a special way to send messages using roads and runners. They also had a unique way to keep records using strings with knots called kipu. They were very good at building things, especially using big stones, and made beautiful art and pottery. The Incas teach us a lot. Even though they lived long ago, we still remember how smart and creative they were. They didn't just look at the world around them, but also at the stars above. They show us that to learn and grow, we need to be curious and pay attention to both big and small things. So whenever we look up to the sky or see a tall mountain, let's remember the Incas and all the wonderful things they taught us.